Oh, fair to come. G'day everyone. Today I'm going to flush the cooling system of my VE V8 Commodore. You could also use this for any Pontiac G8 or even Chevy SS. I think they run the same sort of setup. This is pretty straightforward because there is a radiator drain plug on these, which is under here. And there it is there. That's really handy. That means I don't have to undo any hoses, deal with plastic speed clips and whatnot, but I don't. It's just this blue thing here, which is awesome. So that's a win. So to flush the radiator, I'm gonna use this stuff here. It's Penrite radiator flush. Essentially how to use any of these radiator flushes is that you've gotta empty your radiator first or empty your cooling system first, fill it up with water and your flushing solution. Let it run for, I think, 10 or 15 minutes. Let it cool flush it out again and then you're ready to go with your coolant the coolant i'm using is also a penrite product 50 percent concentrate so half well one of these and uh some water should do the trick let's uh start flushing oh doesn't it look lovely yes disgusting uh how am i going to do this without rust water going up my to my armpits let's just push on that all right at least it's cold uh, uh, oh jesus just water now it's been draining for a couple of seconds it's now getting a bit more rusty because the car's elevated i might just run the hose into the actual radiator and see if i can force flush out some of this stuff Oh yeah, that's the oh, yes. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is gonna do this up and then put the car back on the ground. I think I've got enough clearance between the vehicle and this uh, plug to do this on the ground and it might actually get, get us some more liquid out of this thing. Yeah, now I can't even. That's better. That's warm, so that's now out of the block. What we'll do now is we'll plug her up, put the flusher in, and let it run for the prescribed time and see what happens. Okay, now it's your time to shine. One bottle does up to 15 litres. We've followed the instructions, drain cooling system, refill radiator with clean water whilst adding a radiator flush. Start, turn on heater, run the engine for 10 to 15 minutes, turn it off, allow to cool, drain and refill with appropriate Penrite coolant. Well, it's lucky we've got the appropriate Penrite coolant. Let's add water. So this stuff is designed to just remove like uh, rust and scale and deposits and things like that. So it's probably get good for getting rid of anything that's loose. I'm going to run a car without the radiator cap on initially, allow the thermostat to open and then top it off, then pop the cap back on. Uh, that way the system will pressurise and that stuff will circulate all the way through. Okay, that's topped off. Let's fire it up. Fire it up. And let's watch that rise to about uh, 100 and something. So it shouldn't take too long. Here we are, 90, 90 degrees. Cool and stop. Thermostat open. Let's grab the hose. Let it get to temperature. I might put a few, few revs through it. I've just switched the car around for two reasons. One, uh, better lighting. <laughs> two, that way, now that we're on a gradient like this, when I drain, hopefully everything that it's in the block will drain out as well so we get a nice even flush out of this thing there we go and they're off okay the car's cooled down enough so let's undo the drain plug and drain out this coolant flushing solution try and make minimal mess three Two. Oh, oh, yes. Lovely. 
And because we're on an angle now, everything from the block should be coming out as well. Okay, I've lost count of how many times I've actually done that and reflushed and flushed this thing through. Each time I seem to be getting uh, rusty, shitty water coming out, but it gets less and less worse each time. So I don't know when to stop. I could be here all bloody day. Indeed. So if you don't have a funnel, you just get a water bottle, chop it in half. There you go. Look at that. Yes. Oops, slowly. I'm rushing because I want to finish this. I'm over it. And it's such a maintenance type job too. There's nothing sexy about flushing your cooling system. That's it, last little bit in. Lovely. So that's it. Once you've pledged your system and got all your air pockets out of the radiator and block, put your cap on and you're done. Your cooling system's bled. Um, that job took me about two to three hours, I think, and that was mostly because I drained and tried to flush the thing multiple times, just because of how dirty the coolant was the first time. I wasn't real. I was quite reluctant just to flush it once and then put brand new fresh coolant in. Um, but do it as many times as you need to. Uh, so that's it, quite an easy job. Now, for most people, that'd be the end of it. Put your cap back on, drive away, and you're done. Don't have to touch it. But for this thing, um, something happens straight after I bleed the system and put the cap back on. There it is, there it is. That's our noise. That was the sound of my water pump shitting itself. So trying to do some preventative maintenance, and how do I get repaid? That means though, you get to watch me change a water pump in an upcoming uh, video, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, thanks for watching, uh, and I'll see you soon uh, when I change the water pump on this thing. There you go.